Hello, uh, my name is Dustin Blackburn. I'm a uh, certified USPTA tennis pro. I'm here today with the Elite Sports Clubs. Um, today what I'm going to be talking about um, is the role of weight transfer or momentum um, in your serve. Um, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to try to uh, relate the serve um, to what a, a baseball pitcher might do. Um, so kind of starting off here, um, I, I've got this yellow line out here for you to, to, to see. Um, and the reason I have that there is that's going to be kind of my my end goal um, when I'm serving or, or to start here with my um, with my pitching as a baseball pitcher um, so that's going to be my end goal as to where my body's going to finish so if you've ever watched baseball you probably see that the pitcher um, is going to stand on, on the rubber and they're going to kind of get their weight transferred back they're going to kind of plant and then they're going to drive their leg forward and the whole purpose of that is to to build up as much momentum as they can um, when they go to throw the ball to, to home plate um, and in tennis, um, although we're not really allowed to step much, we're going to do some uh, something that's pretty similar to that. Um, but instead of stepping, we're going to be, um, you know, we're going to be actually rocking back and forth. So first, I just want to show you what the pitcher might do. Again, they're going to start in some sort of a ready position. They're going to transfer their weight back, and then they're going to drive forward as they go to throw um, that ball uh, towards the home plate. Um, now, if we're talking in tennis terms. Um, uh, as I said before, you're not going to be stepping, but what you're going to be doing is really just kind of having this rocking motion. Um, and this is really going to serve uh, a purpose just as the pitcher would in getting their, their weight back and then forward um, into the serve. So um, what, what I want to show you here is it's really important for us as uh, tennis players to have our weight really uh, forward um, on, our, on our front foot before you serve. A lot of times with beginners, what I'll see is they'll, they'll actually uh, have their weight evenly balanced on both legs. Um, and then they just tend to kind of throw the ball up and hit it. And you know where they are standing and uh, before they serve and after they serve is really the same spot, which is not what you want. Again, we want to get our, our momentum going into the court um, so that we can create the most amount of power. Um, so what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to have my, my weight forward on my front foot. Once I start to initiate the serve, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of rock back and then I'm going to be rocking forward again. And again, this is very similar to the picture where they go back and then in. Um, so with the serve, I'm just going to show you here. As I said before, I'm going to be uh, kind of on my front foot. I'm going to uh, rock back in my motion. And then as I come forward, my arms are going to separate and I'm going to toss the ball and hit. So this is something what it might look like if you were doing it um, in real time. So I'm forward, back, and then in as I hit. And as you can see, I, I, I finished my serve uh, inside the court, and this really shows that I, that I transferred my momentum forward, um, which again is going to give me that power um, on my serve. So just to review um, you know, the serve, it really starts with your legs and, and what your feet are doing. Um, and it's going to be very important that you get your weight um, kind of forward, back, and then forward into the serve to make your serve um, really pretty easy feeling in the sense that you're, you know, you're using your legs uh, correctly, which is helping you to swing the racket very uh, efficiently. Okay? Um, so thanks for watching.
You can apply engaging your body and weight transfer also to your serve. So a serve with no weight transfer and not really engaging your body is a very army serve. So it looks something like this. Right? And a serve where I try to put some weight transfer on it, but also engage my body and try and serve from the core would look something like this. So, Special thanks to Savitar Tennis Center, the Swiss hotel in Singapore, for the opportunity to record this video at their courts. Hi, Thomas from fieldtennis.net here. Can you tell the difference between this forehand and this forehand? So for me, internally, what I feel is that on the second forehand, I did more weight transfer. And when I transfer my weight into the ball, it makes it much easier for me to hit, so my arm has to do less work and the shot is much faster. So how do we work on the weight transfer and why is it so important for tennis? Why do we have to talk about the weight transfer in the first place? I see a lot of players not using good weight transfer in the ball. And the reason for that is fairly simple. When we learn tennis strokes, we are taught mostly how to move our arms. And all our focus is on, you know, unit turn, keep your racket up, you know, go down, extend, follow through. If you're doing one-handed backhand or two-handed, like it's all about the arms and the racket path. And when we pay so much attention to our arms, we don't pay attention to the other parts of the body. In other words, we disengage the body. And so now we need to engage the body again. I'm not saying that thinking about arms is wrong, we have to teach a beginner or intermediate player the racket path, the technique, but the process of teaching disengages the body. So it's very important to come back to the body and engage the body and use our weight transfer because it's going to make tennis much easier for us. In order to transfer weight well into the ball, we'll have to focus on it. Maybe until now you've been focusing mostly on your arms, but now you have to go away from technique for a while. And rather than think, how am I going to hit the ball with my arm? Think how you're going to hit the ball with your weight. I'm going to exaggerate slightly so that you see the difference between hitting with the arm and hitting with the weight. So if I just hit with my arm, then you see my focus is mostly here. I'm not thinking about the body. I'm going to exaggerate now. And if I think about weight, then I hit like this. One more. So that's hitting almost only with the weight transfer. That's in my mind. I want to move my weight, my body forward through the ball. So in this case, weight transfer simply means I want to move my body towards the ball. we apply engaging your body to the one-handed backhand? Yes, we can. One-handed backhand doesn't have much rotation, but we can still bring our attention more to the core and try and generate energy from here rather than just from our shoulder. So here's an example of not doing that. So I'm just hitting from my shoulder. So this is just shoulder. And this is me hitting from here. So I'm engaging my core and as I'm hitting, I'm contracting a little bit. And using this energy to send it in my arm. Of course, it won't work for you in the first minute, but this is something you should be trying to do in the long term. So again, engaging your core more, bringing your focus more to your body and not so much to your arms. And then you will see the difference in how the ball leaves your racket. Ha 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 ha!